strategy design pattern is used when we want to achieve a similar task in multiple different ways. So let's see a few examples and then it will become clear. For example, for sorting and merging files. If the files are small, uh, then we can use an algorithm uh, which can sort them or merge them in memory. But if the files are large, like 2 GB, 4 GB of size, they will not fit into memory. So what we will do for merging, we'll read them uh, line by line and then merge them. That is, we read them partially in memory and then merge them. So both these algorithms are doing the same thing. They are either sorting file or merging file. Uh, but uh, the way they are doing is different and the way they will be used will depend on the factor which is the file size. So strategy design pattern is a good choice here. Again, you have made some payments using different payment gateways when you are paying online. What if you want to calculate the processing fee for each, each of these payment options? We can use a strategy design pattern here. Why? Because the different payment options, the UPI processing fee will be calculated differently from the credit and debit card and that will be different from how net banking processing fee will be calculated. The taxes will be different, the constant charge will be different, the, basically the whole formula will be different. So again we can use a strategy design pattern here. All our algorithms will be doing the same thing calculating the processing fee, but they will be doing it differently. And depending on the factor, which is the type of option, banking option we used, uh, our charges will be different. Again, you may have shopped on Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, etc., Walmart, eBay. So what you want to do there, you basically on these websites, you first of all want to see a list of items. Now that list of items, sometimes you want to see sorted by rating, sometimes by price and sometimes by popularity. So we will be using a strategy design pattern. It will be a good choice because what we want to do is we want to do the same thing that is view a list of items, but we want that list of items to be ordered differently depending on the various factors. The factors are rating, price, popularity. So again, a good huge case for a strategy design pattern. Finally, you may have made a booking on Uber and Ola. So your prices are different even if you are booking for the same two points, starting point and destination point. The prices are different depending on whether you are booking at what time of day or your prices are, are also affected uh, in what area you are booking. Uh, if you are going to airport, then it will be cheaper. You are coming back from an airport, then it will be like 2x, 3x costly. So different algorithms are used here. All algorithms are do the same thing. Uh, they calculate the your destiny, uh, basically the cost or the your travel cost or the travel price, travel fee, but they do it differently. So strategy design pattern will be a good choice here. Uh, whether we want to execute the algorithm for profitability or whether we want to execute the algorithm for getting new customers, giving more discounts. So again, this is a good huge case for uh, uh, strategy design pattern. Now we have seen the why uh, strategy pattern is used. Let's see the how. Now that we have seen the why, let's see how the strategy design pattern is implemented. So basically you should always look at any design pattern or understand any design pattern with both of these things, why it is used and how it is used. Generally the mistake that people make is they only look at the code that is how. And if you do that, it becomes pretty confusing because then a strategy pattern will look very similar to factory pattern. It will also look very similar to private pattern. And then you will not know why we need three different patterns for doing basically the same thing. So knowing why is important because design patterns are basically a naming conventions will, which allow you to understand code easily and which allow developers to talk about the code easily. So now that we have seen why, let's look at the wow, how. So uh, let's take the example of the e-commerce website. What each algorithm does is it returns a list of a string. Now this string can be ID anything. We do not worry about that. This is just a basic example. We'll look, look at the actual example uh, in just in a moment. So there is the strategy interface. There will, what the big picture is, there is going to be an interface which will tell you the functionality that will be, that we, are going to need and there will be multiple classes which will implement that interface and all will 
of course give implementation for the functionality there are different custom implementation and then there are there is going to be an assigner class which will based on a context assign one of those choose one of those algorithms to be used so we here we have the get items method which is implemented in class strategy a strategy b and then we have the strategy assigner class which assigns one of these algorithms based on the context now let's suppose context value 0 means rating we have to sort by rating so this strategy a will have the implementation for get items where it sorts it by rating the benefit uh, else it returns a default sorting algorithm which is strategy b now the benefit of this using a strategy pattern is that let's say for tomorrow we want to have a new strategy that is we want to uh, extend our code we want to also sort by price so what we'll do you will just you create a new class a strategy price sorter something like that and that will also implement a strategy and implement give the implementation for this method get items and here in the strategy assigner class we will create an object and assign another context uh, that if context equal to one then simply use this uh, strategy rating assigner so you see uh, extending code has become much easier again for a developer reading code also becomes easier because let's suppose you are using a strategy pattern you see that okay this code is using a strategy pattern now earlier there were 10 files and you were reading them all at once but now you know that it is a strategy pattern so we'll know okay these five six are different algorithms actually and they do not depend on each other so now you have broken the whole thing in five six multiple different pieces and it will be much easier to read and understand and hence maintenance of code will also be easier depending on the extensibility on ability to and on the ability to understand the whole code now let's see how will we use a strategy pattern in actual interview questions so we have a question design a parking lot uh, i have already opened it uh, in this question uh, in the park method we have two parking strategy zero and one so how have I implemented it using a strategy pattern? I have created the interface parking strategy which will have the functionality park. Uh, do not worry about the parameters. Uh, look into them when you are actually attempting the question. So for now we have an interface parking strategy and this interface is actually implemented by both these classes parking strategy 0 and 1 which is nearest parking strategy and most free spot parking strategy and these two algorithm classes you are used by our park manager uh, both the algorithms to actually assign a parking spot to the vehicle now let's see uh, another different example uh, as to where we should not overuse the in a design pattern in this case a strategy pattern so for example consider designing a chess game we know each piece has got its own move so there are straight move diagonal move and different pieces use their own move so what i have done is uh, i have created a move interface here and it has its method uh, to move a piece from starting position to ending position now again we will not worry about the implementation details just see how have we used the strategy pattern now this move interface is implemented by two classes which is diagonal move and straight move and both have their own separate implementation for the can move method now i haven't given any implementation for the two plus one move which is made by a knight or the move by a king or the move by a pawn uh, and we will see why i didn't feel the need for it so in the chess piece factory class uh, where we actually create the chess piece objects the straight move and diagonal move can combine to create a queen piece a straight move will be enough for a rook piece and the diagonal move will be enough to create a bishop piece so using two move classes i have created three pieces so we have code reuse here but uh, king uh, knight and pawn they have their unique moves and that functionality is not shared so i thought it's better to reduce complexity uh, just give their implementation in their own classes for example in the king piece we have its own move method and it has its own implementation which is unique to the move of the king 
so this is a call you all will have to make uh, whether you want to increase an extra strategy class or do you want to give the implementation then and there uh, which is better for now and you know a code keeps evolving as the software progresses so the thing to take away from here is that do not overuse any design pattern uh, use if it leads to benefits such as code reuse and clarity uh, those are the goals so if you want to take away one thing from here uh, just remember that strategy pattern is used when you need multiple algorithm to do a similar thing just like three multiple paths going to the jungle all three are going into the jungle but those are three different paths to do that I have created a seven day plan to prepare for your LLD interviews. Uh, you can access it on codegym.com slash roadmap. Uh, so what happens is whenever someone starts preparing for low level design, uh, they mostly don't know which topics they should read about or what are the questions that they should practice. So this seven day plan has it all the basically short videos like this one uh, and other theory and day by day practice questions. So give it a go. It will help you prepare for your low level design interviews uh, quite efficiently. And I wish you the best of luck. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Bye.